it's here. Uh, right on time. I'm actually very pleased. Uh, welcome back to Foulmouth Fishing. Uh, today is the big day. Our Mystery Tackle Box Elite Edition uh, just showed up in the mail today. So, uh, expectations. Do something a little different. It is basically in my neck of the woods in northern, uh, northeastern America. Uh, getting into the pre-spawn, we've just started to break daily uh, 50 degree marks, 45, 50, 55 uh, degrees during the days, so the cold snap that might come a little later, um, it, it won't really affect us, because once the water takes on temperature from the sun, it doesn't deplete it as quickly as people a lot, a lot of people like to assume. So I'm hoping there's a lot of um, very valuable pre-spawn and spawn baits in here for my bass fishing. Now... Real quick, I like to do these boxes. Um, I like to open them up, see what's in it, do the typical review like every other YouTuber does. And if there's applicable baits, if there's baits in here that I know I can find at a lesser expense, I like to do a follow-up video. So keep in contact, ring that bell for notifications, and subscribe to the channel. If you aren't a Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, uh, whatever uh, subscription member, I tend to look at other brands and other facilities to find baits that will imitate and mimic uh, with equal quality or at least equal catchability uh, what I get in my monthly subscription. Uh, a lot of people do the, the, the regular and the pro boxes. I do the Elite. The Elite originally only came out as a bass box, but now they've gone into a multi-species bass, panfish, etc. Uh, I still stick with the bass um, specific. I might switch over to the multi-species uh, maybe next year. But as it stands, unopened, so we're going to do this together. Um, hopefully we'll see some, some muted tones, um, not too many vibrant colors right off the bat. Uh, again, like I say, the water temperature is still cool here, uh, but they're starting to slowly rise. So we got our mystery tackle box elite. Voila. All right. It's typical. You've got your MTB slam measurement measure tape right there. Oh, I'm seeing things looking down that I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be spoiling it for myself, but I see some things I like. Um, they've gone back to the what's in your box on the back of the Dibble Digest for my particular box this time. And <laughs> oh, this, this one suits me perfectly. There's the sticker. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Definitely a, a, a bookworm. All right. So start off the bat. <laughs> if you've seen any of my videos, you know one thing that I throw is a River to Seas Whopper Plopper. First on the list, $16.99, River to Sea Whopper Plopper. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can never, have, can never have too many Whopper Ploppers. Okay, so we've got a 110 millimeter, one ounce, River to Sea Whopper Plopper right out the gate. <laughs> Which is a, uh, which is cool. There's no, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna see real quick if I, I think I have that color in that size. So let me let me jump over here. It's uniques. Jump over here to one of my tackle bags and pull my Whopper box and see. One ten. River to sea. Oh, let's see. Since I've got actually this color I've got the same pattern but this is a 90 size so now I have the 90 size and the 110 to go with it so that's actually that's that's good um, I always like uh, honestly to have multiple sizes of the same bait if possible um, slight variations if you're seeing them come at you and they're not quite, they're blowing up, but they're not quite getting hooked on the big guy, you can follow up with a smaller one. Just change out the bait really quickly. Same color and profile, same uh, rough dimensions, but if they're just missing this guy, and you follow up really quickly, swap out the bait, cast back on your secondary, uh, you know, run through that, that area of water, with the smaller one, you might hook them on this guy. So, that's cool. So now I got the two different size variants. So that's that's I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, add it, add it right there to the rest of my whopper plopper selection. I'm in definitely no shortage of those guys. 
All right, number two, that's six nine or sixteen, excuse me, ninety nine um, for the uh, Whopper Plopper River to Sea, and there that is the uh, Whopper Plopper one ten, and it's the um, uh, T one thousand color, which is that chartreuse belly on the silver. Silver. Color. I'm sorry. I'm, this is going to be a little bit slower of a of a reveal. Um, I kept uh, I kept up on this box. This was a a little over a pound, and if you know. Uh, in previous episodes, I've said I like to make sure that I follow the tracking information and see how much the box weighs because if the box is heavy, chances are you're going to have uh, either more in quantity of baits or at least slightly better baits. You'll have more of the jig heads and more of the heavier things um, and terminal tackle as opposed to just getting a lot of lightweight stuff. Uh, number two, Bagley's Balsa Shad. So we've got... Um, Ooh, okay. So we've got a Bagley's Balsa Shad 07. This guy right here. That's the kind of color that I'm actually looking for. Those copper, amber, muted tones, the natural colors until the water hits up in the higher 60s. Uh, I like to look for more natural colors. So there's a little... And this again, um, last video I showed you I got some of the these cupped new... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, sh uh, shimmer or whatever shaped um, blades, but this has got a very similar profile to that. It's slightly cupped, but it's got a down curve, so if you can see, this section comes down, but it's also cupped on the inside to catch a lot of water. Really good uh, profile for that, for that bait. So that bill there. Um, this one is a BS07G in the Bolsa Shadow 07. Um, she runs... 13 to 16 foot, and it's a half ounce bait. So that's that's a good one. Um, this is definitely going to get the transitional bass that still haven't quite come up yet for, for my neck of the woods. When the water warms up, I'm going to want to go with a little bit shallower bait than 16 foot. Um, but yeah, that's that's good. I'll take that all day, every day, especially in this nice copper tone. It's got that black bottom, copper flash on the sides, and a little red for, uh, for ambiance. All right, moving right along. Big Bite Baits, Fighting Frog. Big, that's big old games, no. Big Bite Baits. Big Bite Baits. Four Inch Rojas Fighting Frog. Thank God I have a wife who's Ecuadorian so I can not completely uh, mispronounce words. It's not Rojos, it's a Rojas. <laughs> Pop this bag open for you. So we got a Beaver, well, no, this is this is definitely more of a frog bait or a, uh, that's an interesting design. I like that. It's got a ribbon, a ribbon style claw with a little bit of a cutout, a little tiny, I don't know if I can make it out here. Let's try to spread it in. So you got this little tiny cutoff on the corner. You've got little appendages here in the middle, little antennae. And then, of course, you've got your little legs on the side. This is very good. This is definitely going to catch bedded fish. Uh, it's a dark color for stained water uh, during the transition period. It's got a little pocket for your for your hook in there to keep it weedless on you. Um, this reminds me of running uh, when I flip frogs and toads. I like to flip toads um, because you can use them as a sinking bait, sort of, and really annoy uh, bedding fish. So this one definitely... I think is going to work on the pre-spawn as they're get, coming up to bed, and even on the spawn um, when they're protecting their fry to annoy them. So uh, yeah, that's that's good. This is a, like a dark blue with a purple and teal flake in it, or maybe it's. I would say this is dark blue with purple and silver flake, but the silver flake is embedded so deeply in that blue tone plastic that it's coming out as like light, light blue teal color. But it's got tons of shine. More purple on one side, more teal on the other. So that's a good one. Big bite baits. That's $5.49 for the Rojas Frog. Definitely fighting, flipping frog. Uh, something that I'm actually very pleased. Some, uh, I've seen a lot of other presenters get this. I have not tried. Liquid Mayhem. This is a shad scent fish attractant in a tube. Um, it's a paste. i got to take the silver off. I'm not going to open up completely, but it's got the seal on the inside. But uh, it's a 30 ounce, or th excuse me, 30 milliliter. Um, little fish attractant. This one they sell for $4.99. Uh, so that's cool. 
I, I like I like fish attractants. Um, tube baits, uh, worms, things like that. Uh, I like to run a little bit of a fish attractant on it. I like to use dip and dye for my worms or, or uh, the pastes I like to rub on any of the, uh, the modern worms or Senkos or, or um, modern uh, Kitex with those ribs in them. I will take a paste uh, style fish attractant bait and I will run it inside the, the ribs and then flip it out. That, that tends to help. It's not so much even to attract the fish. That's really your technique in fishing and, and how you're working the bait. But it definitely does allow them to stay on the bait longer. So once they've made that attachment, they'll taste it and they'll, they'll hold rather than immediately spitting it. Sometimes they'll say, oh, I don't want this. This isn't real. And they'll, they'll catch it and spit it as faster than the blink of an eye. With those little pastes and fish attractants and scents, twofold gets rid of the scent of your hands. Another reason to have fishing gloves. It takes a lot of the sweat and perspiration that you'd be uh, putting onto the bait. Now with the glove or with a fish attractant, it hides and masks that so it's not, you know, cognizant to the fish that you're trying to get every time you're, you're readjusting your bait and, and, and whatnot. So that will keep them on the bait a little bit longer and allow you to up your hook, uh, your percentage of uh, hook to, to boat ratio. Um, number, I'm going to say the six. One, two, three, four, oh, five. The fifth bait in the box. This is a good box. Uh, we have the Yozuri 3D Deep Crank. Yozuri 3D. 3DB Deep Cranker. So this is a floating deep cranker. Uh, 70 millimeter, uh, 21 grams, and it goes, it dives 3.6 feet to 12 or 12 or 3.6 to 45 meters which is 12 to 15 feet excuse me it's been a long day and i haven't had coffee yet <laughs> so 12 to 15 foot again a little deeper uh for for right now which is good um in a couple of weeks when the water temperatures balloon up uh i'll probably switch out to more of the six four six eight foot range not so much the 12 to 14 to 20 foot range uh and again this is um this is a brilliant pattern, bright chartreuse yellow. It's got that black rear back end, and of course. Now remember, you know, don't don't pay so much attention to the back. You want, I mean, you, you'll get that profile as you're swimming this off of rocks if you get it down deep. Um, but other baits that are topwater baits, the most important thing is to catch out that profile and you know what color scheme they have on the bottom. I would have liked to seen them. This is textured down this side. It's hard to make out. I have a lot of lighting in here to get my face so it's not in a shadow, but this is a rib texture on the back. I would have liked to seen some of this honeycomb style pattern color, this this off off black, brought in and just swooped into this bottom part. Maybe, um, you know, airbrushed in um, just to add a little bit of contrast for each one of those ribs to attract the fish. So it looks more of a, an off shape uh, stomach pattern. But that's cool. This one, the um, the deep cranker is $9.99. So that's not a bad bait. That's not a bad deal either. $9.99. Yeah, I probably I will probably do a, a follow-up video on this. There's probably some things that'll do the 10, 12, 15 foot uh, in a similar profile. Um, work just as good for you in the six or eight dollar range or four dollar range, probably even. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to match the size and the profile. But there, there you go. So there's a $9.99 mystery tackle box price. Uh, Dobbins. Dobbins, name brand. I like Dobbins gear. So this is their double blade, and it's right up my alley. It's what I like to throw. A willow with a Colorado blade in a craw pattern. So they call this the D-Blade Beast Spinner Bait. And they've called this one the Delta Craw. Um, it's a half ounce. Let's see if I can... I knew this. I hate. I hate this style blister pack. I've always hated it from childhood. I'm antsy about mm, lines and cardboard. <laughs> All right. So uh, you've got your willow leaf, large willow, a good sized uh, Colorado here. I like the Colorados to be at least this big. I don't like the real tiny, tiny Colorados. They don't serve the purpose of putting off a lot of vibration, a lot of water displacement. Um, this is probably the smallest that I prefer. Uh, and then you got this, this willow over here to add flash. Solid copper color, brass color, I should say, um, with their Dobbins logo imprinted. But that's a good stout hook, a 2 -aught. It is. This is definitely going to bend out 
when I hook a big bass. I can already twist it if I wanted to with my finger, so I'd appreciate a larger uh, wire gauge hook on this, but it is what it is. Um, I like the head. I do like that, that head profile. Very narrow, will cut through the water really quickly. This is definitely a speed bait for me. And that red pattern, that color scheme is, uh, is killer. So here's that craw pattern that definitely catches fish. And next up, and that was uh, $7.99 for that spinner bait. Uh, we've got the Eliminator Big Old Game Lures. So now this is something that I love this profile. It's your, it's halfway between um, uh, a tadpole, frog's tadpole, or um, eels. Um, you know, basically it's it's your it's your aquatic. Um, serpentine style trailer bait and again always appreciate bait companies that put blister packs in so this is big o game changer lures and this is their eliminator uh, they sell this in uh, mystery tackle box carl's mystery tackle at 549 a package this is a six pack not really scented just basically that standard soft plastics odor but it's got your little, it's got a little eye give out mold. It's not really visible, but uh, little eyes in there imprinted. Um, large fat body profile, good, good amount of plastic for your hook. It's a little textured on the bottom, which is interesting. And that curly tail, large curly paddle tail. This will make an excellent, you could, you could wade the, you could rig this weedless, or excuse me, well yeah, weedless and weightless, Texas style and flip this belly side or uh, keel side down, that would work really well. Or you could probably run this keel side up, upside down, and on a, on a jig head, and, uh, and use that to also add as extra meat for us, uh, for skin hooking the, the hook and, and make that weedless. Because I'm sure that long ribbon tail is gonna put out a lot of thump and action off the back of a, a jig trailer. Um, so that would be, that's, that's gonna be dynamite. I'm going to be interested. It is a salted, slightly salted bait. At least I think it is. I, I feel, I feel what feels like salt coming off. Um, <clears throat> most pl soft plastics are salted for, to give you a, a fall rate and to make them less buoyant. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And that one's 549 again. I do like that. That, that I'm going to appreciate. That's definitely a pre-spawn uh, bedding fish bait that I can, uh, I can get around. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, and again, kudos to uh, to this company. Yet another one that's putting in the blister packs. I'd like to see more soft plastics come in blister packs. It's not that big of an expense to add something that's molded injected plastic like that to keep your bait straight. And finally, name brand Forot, which is definitely what I'm gonna use with those eliminators, and uh, and probably also with the uh, the fighting frogs. Forot owners offset hooks. So these are uh, Z-Lock, Super Bends, all-purpose soft bait hook, and they've got the black chrome color. Um, super sharp owner, name brand, always trust owners. Uh, VMCs, those are my, my go-tos. Um, so yeah, so that's good. This is a 469 purchase for the, for the terminal tackle. And that's uh, the end of the box. So uh, just to recap, I got one piece of terminal tackle, which is kind of unusual, but then again, I also got a fish attractant. So instead of getting, say, weights, they gave me the fish attractant. So that's that balances out. Typically, I get two pieces of terminal. Uh, I got the hooks, the fish attractant. I've got some soft plastics in the way of the big bite baits, the Rojas Frog, and of course, Big O's uh, Game Changers Eliminator and the Green Pumpkin, because I didn't mention what color it was. I've got one spinner bait which is a Willow and Colorado blade, which is, again, my performance, my preference. I've gotten two crankbaits, um, pretty deep diving crankbaits. These I'll definitely try to give you guys a follow-up video on uh, a replacement version of this or a, a money-saving version. Uh, definitely can come up with a, a nice off-tone, maybe even a translucent version of this that would catch fish in the pre-spawn, as well as, obviously, a chartreuse diving bait. easy to come across. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I also did get a Whopper Plopper to add to my growing collection of topwater Whopper Plopper baits. In the, uh, in, in the 110, um, 
I got the uh, <laughs> the Whopper Plopper with that chartreuse belly and that silver uh, chrome top. So all in all, I gotta say, um, I pay I pay full price for these. I don't get any discounts, and I don't pay purposely this year. I don't pay for the um, multi-month subscription that lowers the price. So if you buy these at a 12-month off the top uh, purchase price, you'll save money on the back end. Um, it's like buying in bulk. Okay, I purposely did it one box every month, full price. Not even to blow my money like a moron, which is sort of what's happening, but uh, but really to feel the effect of if I really get 42 odd dollars worth of product. If I come up with a box that looks to me like a five dollar box, it's something that I can impress upon you. You get a real honest opinion, not just a oh well, it's okay. I paid for 12 months, I only paid 250 bucks. Each box only costs X amount. Even if I get a five dollar box, I'm you know. Okay, I'm out 10 instead of being, in this case, I'd be out like $35, you know what I mean? So, um, so I hope this was entertaining. Uh, a couple other anglers uh, beat me to this. Uh, yesterday I watched another gentleman's um, Elite Box opening, and I'm going to leave the link to his channel in the description because he had an awesome box. There was a couple of baits in there I kind of was hoping I'd get today. But definitely check out him. Uh, and he's, he's kicking ass. He's, uh, he's going to do a, um, in his video, he's making, uh, it that he said that he's going to be doing a, um, a tournament. So I, I hope he has luck in that tournament and maybe some of those baits he got yesterday will help him out. Uh, he's heading down to Florida, I believe he said, uh, at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave his, his, uh, his, uh, page or his channel, uh, link in the bottom in the description so that you can go check out the box that he opened yesterday. Um, so thank you for spending some time with me. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you like me have these, uh, subscription boxes, I like to hear if you've got something different or you got the same thing and what your opinions of your box were. Uh, I also want to make sure that, uh, you like and subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to grow it at 500 at 1000 and beyond. I'm certainly going to give up a lot of giveaways. Uh, I have no shortage of tackle. Uh, and no shortage of, of things around me that I can buy and, and share with you. I want to get more people out on the water enjoying nature and enjoying the sport of fishing. Um, again, thanks for sharing uh, your time with me, and I hope you can share this video with your friends uh, so we can grow together. As always, tight lines, be safe, and uh, God bless.